subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be one of the first persons to know whenever we drop a new video now let's take you straight up to the main news just in the federal government should leave Igbo alone we will not allow them extradite him back to nigeria plus INEX says that electronic transmission of election results is very possible Following the report of the arrest of Chief Sunday Adeyomo, also called Sunday Igboho, the leader of the Yoruba Self Determination Group called Ilani Omo Odua, Professor Adebanji Akitayo, has said that the federal government should leave Sunday Igboho alone as he is not a criminal and they will not allow them bring him back from Benin Republic to Nigeria. Chief Akitoye, through his communication manager, Mr. Maxwell Adeleye, said that all the Yoruba people within and outside Nigeria will do everything in their power to ensure that no one extradites Sunday Igbo back to Nigeria and no one takes their ancestral lands from them. In a just released statement, Chief Adebanji Akitoye said that I received last night the troubling information that Chief Sunday Adeyemo, fondly called Igboho, has been arrested at the Kotunu airport. He went on to say in a statement that I and other Yoruba patriots who are immediately available are now working to provide the assistance necessary to ensure that nobody will be able to do him anything unlawful or primitive and to prevent him from being extradited into Nigeria, which is strongly possible. Fortunately, Benin Republic is reliably a land where the authorities responsibly obey the law. We have secured the services of a leading and highly respected lawyer whom we are confidently relying on. He went on to say that what the situation now calls for is that the Yoruba nation at home and in diaspora must stand strong, resolved that neither Sunday Bo nor any other Yoruba person will henceforth be subjected to inhuman and dehumanizing treatment of any kind. Furthermore, he said that for a start, we must all see to it now that Sunday Igbo will get his freedom back so as to be able to move and operate as a free person. We all know he has committed no crime. We know that some persons are trying to suppress or even eliminate him only because he stood up to defend his kinsmen, women and children who are being massively killed and raped in their ancestral homeland who are having their assets and means of livelihood destroyed and who are facing ethnic cleansing and even genocide without having the benefit of protection by the rulers of their country. We know furthermore that for the protection of his people who are being brutalized, he has joined hands with many of his brethren to take the legally appropriate step, which is to seek the intervention of the International Criminal Court. Chibakintoye has said, that no one will be able to extradite uh, Sunday Igboho back to Nigeria as he is very sure that Benin Republic would not want to take the same risk that Kenya took in the issue of Mazinam Dikano. Furthermore, he has said that all hands are on deck to ensure that Igboho becomes a free man again and goes about his lawful activities. Earlier on, we brought you news that Chief Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Igboho, has been arrested in Kotonou, a city in Benin Republic, whilst, according to a report, he was trying to get to Germany via Kotonou Airport. Following the raid of his house on the 1st of July 2021, Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Igbo, fled for his safety and has sued the president of Nigeria, the Attorney General of the Federation and other top Nigerians to the International Criminal Court for crimes against humanity in Yoruba land. We will continue to give you more details about this story as more details unfold. Meanwhile, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has said 
that it has the ability to transmit election results electronically come 2023. Following the debate that has been going on across Nigeria and also in the National Assembly, that INEC would not be able to transmit election results electronically in some parts of Nigeria, INEC has come out to you know, debunk the insinuations of its inability to transmit election results electronically. INEC said that it has the capacity to transmit results even from the remotest areas of Nigeria. While speaking in an interview, Mr. Festus Okoye, who is INEC's national chairman and commissioner for information and voters' education, said that INEC has uploaded results from very remote areas, even from areas of the country where you have to use human carriers to assess network. He also said that INEC have made their position very clear that they have the capacity and they have the will to deepen the use of technology in Nigeria's electoral process. Mr. Festus Okoye also said that although INEC has the capacity to transmit election results electronically, it will only be guided by the laws of the country. Stating that the power is given to INEC is from the constitution and the law, and INEC will continue to remain within the confines of the power granted to the Commission by the Constitution of Nigeria. So guys, let's analyze this situation together. So we did bring you news that sometime last week, the National Assembly Senators voted for an amendment of the Electoral Bill, and there was a clause that was really controversial, and that was a Section 52 that was proposed by the Deputy Whip of the National Assembly, Sahib Adublahi, that said the Commission, which is INEC, may consider electronic transmission provided the national network coverage is adjudged to be adequate and secure by the Nigerian Communications Commission and approved by the National Assembly. And there was also the very controversial part of the Session 62, Subsession 2, which says INEC is allowed to determine when, where, and how voting and transmission of results will be done. Now, members of the House of Representatives, you know, they decided to vote on the mode of transmission of election results to INEC, while the Nigerian senators, 52 of them, voted for in favor of the clause that says election results can be transmitted, you know, electronically where and when possible why 28 senators voted against that clause because they were not um, in the senate house when the voting was going on and these 28 senators were all from the people's democratic party led by the minority leader of the senate house uh senator undude elumelu who led them out in a you know workout session to to you know protest the clause stating that INEC should be allowed to come and speak for itself. Now, following this reaction by the Nigerian senators, many people actually thought INEC was not uh, equipped technologically to carry out electronic transmission of election results. But INEC officials have come out to say that the commission is well able, and as a matter of fact, they have done it. You know, at um, an earlier stages during the elections in Nigeria, accreditation and you know voting and all of that were done manually but in recent times you know you are accredited with the use of a machine which reads your uh, card and you know tells you oh you can vote here or you cannot vote here so INEC has come out to say that in 2023 using Anambra's election which is coming up on the 6th of November 2021 as a case study that they will be able to carry out you know electronic transmission of results from any part of Nigeria now the argument of some of the senators from the northern part of the country is that most of these are uh, you know places that were affected by banditry Boko Haram and all of that that they do not have network that most of the network mast has been you know destroyed by these bandits and as such election results cannot be transmitted from those areas electronically it has to be done manually now in my own opinion i think um, INEC should be allowed to do what is best for the country and which is right now transmitting election results electronically because if we look at it critically we would understand that most of these areas are not safe to travel by road so it is even better that election result gets to INEC untampered when they are transmitted 
uh, via technological means than waiting for persons to take the results manually to you know what level and then uh, local government level and then they take it to you know the state level before they can collate results first of all transmitting election results electronically will make the electoral process free fair and credible and also it will also help in the security uh, situation that we are facing in the country well that's my own opinion i don't know what's your opinion drop your opinion in the comment section welcome back thank you so much for staying with us till the end of this video but before we go we just want to let you know that we're also on facebook and on instagram at djmtv also check out our website at www.djmtv.news there we drop news 247 non-stop do not forget that you could also place your advert with us here on DJM TV News and be rest assured that your business will get to the desired market. Well, so we'll come your way again with another edition of DJM TV Daily News Update. I remain your host, Lauru Fabo. Yeah. DJ TV DJ TV DJ TV DJ TV